Well, good evening, everybody. And welcome back. I hope you've all been enjoying the rest of your day. If you were here earlier, and if you weren't here earlier, why not? <laughs> I'm only joking. You don't have to be here all the time. It's not legally binding. Um, let's see. We are in Reichland, by the looks of things. Still. No, wait. We got pushed back to Prague earlier. I'm fairly sure. So, we took Prague? Unless I misremember. I'm fairly sure we lost Strikeland. Unless this is just newly opened. Didn't we? No, it was... Mm. Oh, I'm fairly sure we did. Or was that... Thunder Mountain I'm thinking of. Maybe it's Thunder Mountain I'm thinking of. I can't quite remember. Um, it wasn't even that long ago. Um... <coughs> <laughs> my brain really is mush at times um so yeah we're gonna see what we can do in Reichland <laughs> we're here that's the main thing Ooh, I like his axe I like this kind of axe that's still clearly an axe head when it comes to the chosen there, there's some of them I just look at and I'm like <sighs> Like, it's nice and all, but it just doesn't look like an axe anymore. Like, there's one actually looks like a hammer. And I'm fairly convinced that it's supposed to be a hammer. Because I think the the Chosen was originally going to have hammers as one of its... Um, as one of its uh, weapon choices. And then they backed out of it. And I get the sneaky suspicion it was like a, a hammer design that they then changed to be an axe by just flattening it. And obviously making it look like it was to a point. But that's just me guessing and supposing. Oh, there's people ganking a ganker. Oh, it's smoky. What's this? Let's say Zillet. And that is a lot of order. I was wondering, like, this guy's for a quest, from what I can remember, but I can never remember what the quest is. It always makes me wonder. Because I. <laughs> have it in my head it's a I have it in my head it's a destruction quest but I'm not 100% it's little things like that that always get me because I'm always sitting here going like oh is it this is it not this Hmm. Not getting much in the way of scenarios. Hmm. 
Not much time here. Absolutely not. It's just a random cave. Okay. I thought it was going to be secretly like a lair or something like that. But no. Just an utterly random out in the middle of nowhere cave. And holy good god, this is where I started. This is no time for beer, Zell. Yeah, I even got my grip. We've got a squiggles and a wealth. And now a chopper. There's one squiggles running away. Where's the wealth? The wealth is over here. Got saved by spikes. The spikes have betrayed me. Here we go over here. Shadow Warrior. Ah, where'd he go? I wasn't paying attention. This is actually one of the things that I was talking about in Toth's podcast earlier. It's like people were complaining about, um, you know, people just wanting to farm kills and stuff like that in scenarios. It's like, because, yeah, like, why would you not? It's where you get all of your renown from. It's pretty much the only reason people do any of the activities in the game is because they're getting rewarded for it, so like, why would you not just try and get yourself rewarded? Very little point in us chasing the two of them, because <laughs> the Shadow Warrior is just going to snare us, and then when we get out of the snare for it, the Archmage is going to snare us. Any damage we do to the Shadow Warrior, the Archmage is going to heal through it. Anything that we do to the Archmage, the Shadow Warrior is just going to go to town on us. Um... But yeah, as I was saying to him, it's like they need to reward the actual objective play. Otherwise, they just say that, look, we get there's objectives in these, but um, you actually just have to go and kill people. Right? Because, like, Order here weren't really bothering to do anything other than go and try and farm kills. So, like, if Destro hadn't surrendered there, and me and the Witch Elf had just gone around capping all the points. We'd have probably ended up winning. Probably about 500 to 400. We would have got about 2,000 or 9. And Order would have got probably about 15. How on earth did I win Death Blues? Did we only have the one kill? We only had the one kill. <laughs> I 
how bad it is when your only kill is done by a defensive tank who hits like a wet noodle. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Hang out here with my friend Appleston, the flare. Highlight <clears throat> George again. Because why not? Uh, I forgot. Go for the Marauder. When he loads in. <clears throat> what are we fighting against? Uh, three warrior priests, two warrior priests, and an archmage. Three warrior priests always seems to be a thing. It's weird how often I see that come up with three warrior priests together. Doing. This is an oost premium. Judging by the fact that there's a whole bunch of them working together called oost. Not the big tree. I 
Well, this looks to me like these guys are coming back to come over here. Well, at least the Archmages. Bye. We did it. We took the big tree. It'd be interesting to see if these guys actually notice that we're here. Oh, they have. Ha <laughs> Oh, it didn't knock him off the side. Damn you, Night of the Blazing Sun. I like it when they jump for you just to make the wee launch a little bit easier. <laughs> oh god. Back to the big tree again.
Oh, we've got a different chamois this time. I feel like I'm going to get some sort of achievement for capturing the big tree. Or not. Didn't die, didn't kill anybody. Hooray! <clears throat> College of Corruption. I'm not a huge fan of College of Corruption. Um, I can't actually think of any of the city based scenarios that I hugely enjoy, in fairness. They feel very, I don't know, one-sided at times. Magus is just sitting behind the thing, not bothering to actually come out firing bolt to change. Like, that's an impressive level of... AFKness, shall we say? I think I got morale there. Did I? They just seem to lose a scene amount of health very quickly. Can't really tell. Highest thing I've seen there is like 700. <clears throat> but this is a weird scenario because this scenario, like, I can't remember Destro ever having won it. And I'm probably misremembering sometime and there'll be like a random VOD or something out there where I have won it. But I can't remember it. Like I, I I honestly am struggling to remember ever having played it and won it. I was kind of hoping I could get my knockback off and just send two of them off into the lava. Where has this taken me to? This is somewhere completely different to game. The thing with this one is, I have no idea what the objective is.
because I think it's the fire in the middle, but I've never seen anything to suggest that it's like a take and hold objective. <clears throat> now we've got even numbers here in Reikland. What's this? Where'd he go? Every time. He was immune, the bugger. What can you even do in that situation? Yes, jump up and down because you're so good playing the class that needs to nerf the most. Ah, I've got a lockout timer now as well.
Here, helicopters. Dismounted them at least. That's a win. Be no fighting. Oh, there's a ram. It's thirteen percent in our night, right? sure we defended this earlier didn't we I could have swore it maybe I'm misremembering it was earlier in the week but I could have swore we were here defending this earlier on today Is a lot of people. I actually got one of the wyvern eggs last night on the zealot. Um, I think it's that one. The red one. Um, but I was looking, you can actually get them for next to nothing on the auction house if you really wanted them. I was kind of just looking for more dyes. <laughs> Not that I ever seem to use any of the dyes, I just seem to collect them. I was looking at my bank vault, I've got like three or four rows just filled with dyes. And I've got most of them from this event. <clears throat> that was the other thing I was saying on Toth's podcast earlier, is like Like I really like the idea of the egg hunting. Like it's very thematic, you know, egg hunting for Easter. But it kind of feels like every zone that you go to from a casual perspective, e.g. 
You're just finding them as you go. They're all either already cracked or bugged. So the only way that you can really partake is if you actively go and hunt for them and do it in a zone where nobody else is in or has been to recently. And usually at a time of day that's not very high pop. And like in the context of sort of diehard players who are wanting to grind away and get I don't know, there's like goggles or something that everybody seems to be going to do lolly over. Fine. For those who are going and getting it all just so they can resell it in the auction house and make a few bob, fine. But like for a new player or a casual player coming into the game, like they're probably coming because of the event. Like they'll have read about it on like MMO news or something like that. And they'll be going, oh yeah, I want to go and do that, it's fun. And they'll go around, they'll be doing their RVR and Oh, there's no eggs. And they'll be doing their PV in. Oh, there's no eggs. So they'll be like, well, what's the point? <laughs> so I said, do it like the Christmas event where you have like, there's like mini eggs that you get from tier one, uh, the green skin city that give you like one die item or something like that. Let those drop from players. Right? Because then you get the, the fun like loot box mechanic of what are we getting sort of thing um, and it's accessible to the new guys like to me it seems like a win-win and again this is all within the context of new players or casual players um, who are just coming into the game as opposed to those of us who are Grinding away, hours on end at it. See, I'm basically saying about tier one. Like, you know, there's lots of little quests. I don't know if anybody's actually made a character recently, but you get little quests in the mail now that sort of tell you, oh, you've got a renowned level, you should go and see a renowned trainer. Oh, you've got a character level, you should go and see a mastery trainer. There should be something like that for rally points and you know setting your rally point to somewhere other than the first place that you spawn in and like a way when you get to the first quest giver where you can go up to the quest giver and sort of like you'll have a quest which is like warning this will take you away from this zone you won't be able to do the quests here but it'll transport you to the nearest rvr zone so that you can go and fight other players because I'm going to go out in a limb and I'm going to say a new player coming to the game. They're going, oh, it's a PvP game. Great. I've joined. I'm nowhere near a PvP lick, so I can't find other players to fight. Right? Like, it, it, it seems like a really obvious thing. But, like, it's really obvious to those of us who've played the game before and know, you know, you can war report somewhere or you can just run straight to the RVR zone or those kinds of things. But a lot of the guys who are going to be coming to play the game are going to be new. They're probably going to be younger. They're probably not going to be used to this sort of age of MMO. Where it was basically, you know how to do this. We're not going to tell you. And the thing is, they're not going to know. So, you know, it's all about hand-holding. And it was the same, like, there was a guy on uh, Toss Podcast, I want to say it was like a month ago or something now, but he was new to the game, and I can't for the life of me remember his name, um, but I think he was a streamer, I think he was just new, and he was sort of, he was asking questions like, you know, uh, what was it, how do I, what was the thing that had just changed at the time? Something has just changed at the time. I can't remember whether it was an event or something, but it was, how, how do I use this, or where do I find that? And Toth had said to him, oh, well, it's in the patch notes. You need to go and read the patch notes. And he's like, oh, right, I didn't think to look there. Because his natural expectation was going to be, you'll find it in the game. The game will tell you. But in a lot of these instances, the game doesn't tell you. Like It, it doesn't make it clear, like, you know, if you're going to get, I don't know, teeth, 
Like, you know, where do you get teeth from? How do you use the teeth? Where do I take the teeth to? Um, I like the teeth's a bad example because it says the teeth, you know, tradable at the Eastern Wyvern vendor in Karakate Peaks. But someone's probably going to go, where's Karakate Peaks? Where's the Eastern Wyvern vendor? Um, stuff like that. And you have to remember that in a lot of cases, if you've played this game for any length of time, or you played it in live, you're not going to have those questions. You're not even going to think of them as questions. Because to you, it's second nature. But to someone new, it's probably very confusing. Like, I know when I came back to the game, um, I was really confused about siege weaponry, because siege weaponry doesn't work at all like it does in life. And I would imagine that probably um, most new players don't even know about siege weaponry or what it's used for. Could you have something like that as soon as someone progresses to, like, say, level 16? Like, here's, here's some gold... Going by a cannon or a ram? Would you even want them to do that? Indeed. At least it wasn't a 30 rack a 30 rackin? A 30 second respawn time. <clears throat> I would, of course, manage to hit him straight as a die, straight back up the thing. Ah! Tried to do it in midair. <laughs> See if I could get a flying one.
doing. Just get knocked back straight back into the spawn. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Betcha they got more than 4K. I guess the third separate character I've seen Arwen on today. I guess it's just whoever that guild is, is doing their, um, all of their alts. Round and round each time. Nope, oh, doors are down. Or near enough down. Yeah, more band we can join. These ones. Where is the?
This will be interesting. Hey, Alien. Nice things, bud. Oop. A bit far forward there. I'll go here. Hi, Rude. Interesting to see how this goes. Because out of nowhere, there's a whole heap of Destro just randomly appeared, because we're now up to 200. Like a heavy heel storm, only it's fire. <laughs> hey, you got my toughness boosted. Hey we God they're melting. Was that it? Like, that feels like a really weak push.
I can't even see where all of their melee lines gone. Is that them all hiding over there? Like, they don't seem hugely interested in having a go. Slayer Ball on the postern. Uh, suppose they could try it. the cutlery again. Looks like they're all starting to run for it. Four thousand or nine. Didn't win any bags. Boo hoo. What's that us up to sixteen percent. Nice if we could get to twenty five. This is kind of what my zealot's starting to look like. Because this was the robe I got for her last night. Well, the appearance of it, anyway. Um, wouldn't mind getting a better belt for him. Zealot belts are weird. Because they practically act as a chest piece. 
because most of the zealot um, robes like just have nothing in the chest area at all. <clears throat> Guard the chopper. Redeem the potions as well. They're about to run out. Nope. Oh, guess the chopper was up. Premiered. Was he? Yeah. Feels very choppy all of a sudden. This is me lagging, or whether it's the server lagging. Ah, oh, so nearly. I think it's me lagging. I think it might be the server. Come on, flag, you can do it. practically unplayable like this. I love how he sprints to get back. Like, no, I can't be away from all my guards and heels.
<clears throat> Just randomly seen a goblin flying off into the sky. Oh, thought I was going to land it. Can you get up that way? No. False advertising. I've seen a wee ramp and I thought, oh, you can climb that. Right wizard and a warrior priest versus a witch elf. Sure. What is going on with like this pathing? Oh, this guy just hit eighty. Congrats to him. <clears throat> I was going to say the timing of that popping up was too convenient for that scenario. I didn't know he had to be in it. Dung, dung. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the funny thing about this. There was 200 Destro here for the keep defense and 100 order. There's now 100 order and 25 to 99 Destro. Where did they all go? I just get the feeling you get an accurate representation of the actual player population whenever there's a keep defense on the go. That's a sure thing. <coughs> what is it with Black Crag constantly popping? Like, highly gorge I can get, but why black rag keep? I don't get it. I don't get it. That's the 80 guy again, so I'm fairly sure this is a pre-made on the order side. I get the sneaky suspicion this is a pre-made on our side, because this is the second time I've seen these guys together.
GG. What the? He's gone into his own party. Wow. Brilliant, lads. Brilliant. I'm gonna join these guys. This would be the tactical retreat, it seems. We got a kill, oh my god. Okay. I don't know what any of those add-ons mean with all of their different fancy things on it. Res up? Something up? Seven up. We'll call it seven up. randomly seeing people flying up over the top of these walls. Thank you. 
Aha. 3K. Try some discordant. Let's see if it's any different. I think we did our RVR week earlier, didn't we? We did. I thought we had, but I couldn't quite remember. Oh, I didn't realize we got our first pip in this. I'll be able to go and get my potion of acclaim. dead end quite literally <laughs> oh that chamois got sent flying Oh, thank you for the follow, kind sir. It's very much appreciated. Uh, let's go with Avalor and Safari. Well, actually, we've apparently got AAO here. I don't know how we've got AO here, but we apparently do. I was honestly waiting for him to bounce away. And he never at any stage did it. the orderlings <clears throat> sorry I wasn't following I look at you for a long time that's all right dude 
You don't have to follow, but it's always appreciated when you do. I guess the unluckiest I've ever seen a witch hunter get. Do the flag binds. It's like a rain dance, only for an hour. This always feels like Witch Hunter Central whenever Order have the bottom keep. This Ironbreaker's a bit silly. He had a chance to get away, and he decided to come back because he thought the Warrior Priest was going to gank me. <clears throat> so sad. So, so sad. I we're apparently at 60% AO. Like, it doesn't feel like there's more deaths through than order in this zone. Maybe that's just me, but it just doesn't feel that way. Watch as there's like 400 of them suddenly swarm down here. It's all surprised if the Order of War Bonds hiding inside the board bonds, the Order Keep. To be honest. 
Now we're at eighty percent. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. Like, unless there's like a massive blob of order, and I'm literally gonna see it crossing this hill. Like, I don't know where they all are, unless they're all up here at quarry. What's that? That's a baby arm breaker again. It's order they're either at the work camp or in the keep. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Because, like, I've just ran the length of the zone and I haven't seen them bar that one arm breaker. They're burning rune hammer apparently. That's a squig herder. Those are Destro. Destro. More Destro. Destro. Oh, they got a ram up. Seriously? They're trying to ram again? See if I can get to the keep or not. <clears throat> Finally something different than Black Crag, at least.
That's a shiny kip. <clears throat> Looks like they're back capping us. Huzzah! These people are. I think they're all underneath. Want to sell T5 gold each? <laughs> oh, God. People really buying teeth? Really? We did it. Victory is ours. I know I say it all the time, but it feels like some of these like end screens take forever to go away. Uh, well, I'm guessing the ram came to nothing. How did I leave the kill? It's like, gee, quit or something like that. I think you type. I want to say. Don't know if you can actually leave. Ah, yeah, you can just leave from there. No wonder my G is bound.
I thought I had really signed up. Hi, foolish. It feels like every time I look at chat, there's a warband passing the West Postern. So either someone's wiping order constantly, or there's like a bazillion different order warbands all just wanting to run south. Honestly, don't know which is the more likely, in fairness. Ah, there's the building from the loading screen for, uh, what do you call it? Um, Old Dwarf Road. No, we don't have AAO in the zone anymore, so that's a thing. Apparently the boss has hit hard in the Sicellum. I don't think I've ever actually done the Sicellum dungeon. Ever. I never did it on live. And I've never done it in Roar. So Selm was actually hard. Yeah. Do you seek it's the one down in the uh, arena, isn't it? No, Morgan Temple. I always feel like that arena in the Inevitable City was a big uh, lost opportunity. They could have used it for something. Don't know what they could have used it for, but they could have used it for something. Got it. Where'd he go?
And they all ran away. Bosses hit hard and most of the time you can't see the mechanic. Oh, okay. Yoink. Damn it. I have no idea how I survived that.
Oh, so close. So close. Close in points, that is. Not close in kills. Um, well, they actually are attacking our keep. Okay. Which keeps ours? Oh, it's this one. Even better. Don't know very far to go. Although, I'm going to guess because I don't see a ram. They've actually failed. I mean, pushed back already. I was trying to do the throne dagger. Craig asked a lot of red. There's a lot of yellow chess in it, in fairness. And then a lot of red again. Is it like a warband chasing a warband chasing another warband? Almost today. I'll hide in this bush. They'll never know I'm here. Come <laughs> on. 
Not often you catch a witch hunter out like that. I'm guessing they just killed this guy. Oh, that's a lot of red. <clears throat> Apparently there's a wyvern egg nearby. Guarantee it's cracked. If the alert pops up, it means that there's an uncracked one somewhere, though sometimes it feels like they're stuck in terrain or something. I don't know. I think it just pops up regardless. Because um, any time I've ever seen it pop up, it's always popped up and there's a cracked one nearby. Um, and I can't imagine that they've got multiples within such a small area of one. Like, I know they do in some places, but... 
you might be right. There might be some clipped in the terrain somewhere or something like that, potentially. I just like getting the dyes out of them. <laughs> I've just been on a dye collecting spree. I've got so many green, yellow and red dyes now, I don't really know what to do with them. Although I think I did get a couple of random blues out of it. I played Machapa for like 15 minutes on... Was it Wednesday? It was one of the days in the middle of the week. And like, he got a... What was it? Chaos Sky Blue? And it's like, it's practically white, but it's just like a really subtle hint of blue in it. Really, really weird looking colour. Sounds pretty cool, yeah. I'd never seen one like it before. Like, there's so many of the colours seem similar like there's a couple of reds that are all like really bright red uh and then there's a couple of greens that are all sort of roughly this sort of i don't know what you call it bluey green color um that are all roughly the same Tell you what, I'll do this. <clears throat> it's weird that I've got two of the same precursor thing drop in a row. Get to Vecrum. Nah, to be honest, I'll leave it. Where are we at anyway? 21%. Nearly a quarter of the way through. Well, we're just over a fifth of the way through the level. I was about to say we're nearly a quarter of the way through the level. Again, it still feels faster than 74 to 75. Like, it's really weird. 74 just felt like a a level that lasted forever. I need to remember to get my renown potion off this guy. Uh, Highland for blood. Renown. Like, when I say I've got a few dice, I've, I've actually got quite a few. <laughs> So, these are all of the dice that I've collected. <laughs> lots and lots of dice. <laughs> it's like all different shades of green. Um, and there's like these random sort of browns and metals. A couple of purples. Um loads of different types of red and then loads of different types of yellow and like they all they all feel kind of much the same uh where's the one so this is the one i got a load of today it's like let's let's have a look at the different shades of yellow because like this will just prove that i'm not over egging the pudding shall we say so, this is probably the easiest place that you'll see it on. So there's the first yellow. It's kind of like a bright, natural yellow. So that's green skin yellow. Arcanoth yellow. Looks roughly the same to me. Um, Wyvern yellow. Again. If anything, I'd say it's got a it's a slightly more green yellow but 
still, like, if you didn't know, side by side, you'd probably think it's the same. Bad Moon Yellow, this one looks different. It's clearly more vibrant. Molten Iron Yellow, kind of looks like Bad Moon Yellow. And then this one looks pretty much the same as well. Daz's Palace Gold. So, like, I'm... Like, it's nice that you've got a selection, but, like, so many of them all just look exactly the same. It's just really weird. <laughs> Like, I'm going to go out and limb, and I'm going to say that they're probably slightly different tints or slightly different shades, and you'd be able to tell if you had two side by side, but to my eye, the, most of them look the same. Like, if, if I didn't know any better, I'd say I just showed you two different types of yellow. A kind of subdued yellow and a kind of vibrant yellow. <laughs> like, I... I, I don't know. Like, it just seems strange. But I suppose they're kind of limited. Well, I say they're kind of limited. It's probably all just hex codes in the background, in fairness. Um, but they're probably limited in what they can do die-wise, I would think. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, guys, that's us past the two-hour mark. So, um, I'm going to call it a night there. Uh, we had a nice keep defense. We had a bunch of scenarios that went pretty much the way that you'd expect most scenarios to go at the minute. Um, we're a fifth of the way through our level. So, slowly but surely, we're getting towards fancy hat territory. Uh, didn't get very many war crests tonight, in fairness. Um, but, still... It's some more on the road to our next piece of Sovereign. So hopefully we'll get that tomorrow. Um, well, not the next piece of Sovereign, but hopefully we'll get more Warcrest tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, thank you all so much for coming along and watching. Um, thanks for the follow, um, Ali and Rod. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have a wee look here and see if there's anybody else streaming. Something will sell nicely later. Yeah, probably. Everybody's always after dyes of some kind. And there's definitely be people that are very particular about the shade that they get. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I'm the same when it comes to armor designs. I'm always very particular about what type of armor I'm after. So, um, I imagine there's people out there who are the same when it comes to their, um, what do you call it? Dye colors. Um,. Who have we got? I don't recognize this guy. But tell you what, we'll jump over and we'll we'll raid this guy, because he seems like a new guy. He seems to be starting out. And um that's always good to support new people. So um yeah, that's gonna be me guys. Thanks very much for popping along. Um I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you all have a nice day tomorrow. I'll hopefully see you back here again tomorrow night. But until then, take care, all the best, and see ya. Bye.